The Central African Republic, or the CAR, is a country we rarely hear about. You will not see it in the headlines very often, but today it is the setting for a game of geopolitics, geopolitical chess. In a couple of days, this country will vote for its next president, but violence is threatening to derail the vote. And Russia and the United States are volunteering to help. Both nations have their eye on the Central African Republic's vast mineral reserves. Our next report tells you more. This is the Central African Republic, located slap bang in the middle of Africa. It is rich in most resources known to man, yet languishes in poverty. In three days, the CAR will go to polls. The country is on edge, and understandably so. Democracy has been sporadic here. A coup d'etat is always around the corner. The CAR was a French colony. It became independent in 1960. The last six decades have seen elections and military coups, followed by a seemingly endless civil war. There have been peace deals, but no peace. In 2015, the UN deployed around 13,000 peacekeepers, but stability remains elusive. It is in this backdrop that CAR is heading to polls. The threat of military coups, the bloodshed of a civil war and extreme economic hardships now the country must contend with a new problem, a pseudo-Cold War. Russia and the United States both want to assert their influence here. For the moment, Moscow holds the edge. Incumbent President Tuadera is a close ally of Putin. Since 2018, Russia has propped up the government multiple times. In return, Russian companies get to exploit CAR's vast resources. Ahead of the elections, Tuadera once again reached out to Moscow. He is afraid that rebel groups are planning to take the capital. There are reports that Bambari, a trading hub, has already fallen. Russia's response was swift. It sent 300 military instructors to train the CAR troops. They were joined by Rwandan forces who were assisting the peacekeepers. The US State Department was not impressed. Our position has always been that countries that provide assistance, military or otherwise, should do so in a transparent and coordinated way, and that this assistance should support the desire of the people of CAR for good governance and stability. Not to be left behind, the Western Alliance dispatched help of its own. On Wednesday, French warplanes flew over the country. The Elysee Palace condemned attempts to disrupt the general elections. It's a zero-sum game for the Central African Republic. Going ahead with the polls means risking the lives of voters, but delaying it could further destabilize the country. President Tuadera is banking on foreign help but he's playing a dangerous game. It doesn't take long for an ally to become a satellite state. Bureau Report, We On. World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.